I am Victoria Johnson, a Global Equity Director with HDR Engineering. We have a fantastic opportunity to redefine innovation through IIJA. And what I mean by that is this historic investment in our nation's infrastructure is a great opportunity to rise to the occasion and overcome systemic chronic challenges in our, our nation's history and really rise to the occasion in terms of an opportunity to uplift communities. So that's threefold. Of course, investing in our aging infrastructure, but really looking at our infrastructure through an equity lens in terms of communities that have been underserved, under-resourced, and really looking at our CIP planning techniques and prioritizing communities that are much needed of investment. Also, of course, addressing climate change and climate action and reducing our, our carbon footprint. On our road to net zero, how can we ensure that we have a just transition? How can we ensure that we're developing solutions that include all of us and that are very aware of the unique barriers our certain communities face uh, with regards to pre predisposition to flooding, a second chance, um, citizens, immigrants, etc. How are we ensuring that all of us, again, will be able to transition justly? And then also with regards to how we uplift communities, how are we ensuring that we are employing the people who live in the target zip codes where projects take place? Too often we see projects, um, ground is broken and we see construction operations and maintenance and, and, and activities going on, but essentially the individuals in those target zip codes are not being engaged and they're not benefiting from um, those developments. So really looking at workforce development techniques, training, consortiums with uh, academia and community colleges and community-based organizations because we do know that communities of color and low-income communities are disproportionately impacted through infrastructure. So through IIJA, Justice 40, and a lot of the, again, racial equity and environmental justice priorities, we have an opportunity to not only um, fix our aging infrastructure, but really uplift um, communities and really develop a younger, more diverse, and more equitable uh, and sustainable future for all.